Mm-hmm. 
so what do we have now? We have two beams. Next we have fourth to first, because the resolution is really coming up here.
string and 10th fret on the A string. Two notes each, both staccato. Okay, so the whole thing very slowly. Two notes each, both staccato. It's all in A minor, just between A minor and G major. So it's chord one in the key of A minor and then the chord seven in the key of A minor. So remember that in a minor key it's going to be a flat seven. It's on the flat seven degree. Okay, so. And now let's have a listen to that drum beat.
hits and a lot of uh, snap there, people were playing it on the G-string because it's just a, uh, a lighter string. But up here, there's a lot more girth to the sound. So, one more time with the track. The track. There's a lot more girth to the sound. So, one more time with the track.
progressive rock groove because of the, uh, the kind of strange ascending chords in there. So let's have a look at the notes in there. So we begin with a G sharp fourth fret of the E string, and we've got two notes on there. So first of all, we have a staccato note.
Hmm. Oh, hi, I'm going to take this to Gold Temple. It's just seems like it's going to take forever, and it's such a boring. Let's just get it to 70. That's only five for me. Let's get it to 70 and then we'll go from there.
do it with fifth string based one chords and discover where all the likely chords in a key will fall. So I'm going to do this example in the key of D. So my fifth string based, I'm going to start with just the power chords. The fifth string based uh, D is at the fifth fret of the fifth string. And if you remember, the basic magic L is one, four, and five. One, two frets below and over to the sixth string base, and two frets up still on the sixth string. Okay, but we also have two, three, and six to fill in. So let's go back to one. Two is a whole step above our fifth string root, two frets above the one. Three, another whole step above. Four was way down here. Five and six. Two frets above five. So now that in with full bar chords and determine the majorness or minorness. Let's go through that again, starting on our one chord, which is the D, with the fifth <sighs> string root at the fifth fret of the fifth string, and that's major, that's our one chord. Our two chord is minor.
just the opportunity and the confidence we can push
least with this ammo and shit. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, blah, blah, blah. let's drink some fucking coffee. Drink some fucking coffee. So we're going to transpose this to D, D E F G E, so we're going to start on the 6, oh, so we're going to do 6, okay. So we're going to do a 6 to a 3, right? We have six. Wait, how did I go? Yeah, it was six three, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're fucking that up. Because then it goes back to six, two, six, two, five, one. There we go. Lesson 
and we will take a look again at the groove we played earlier in this tutorial in terms of the letter name and the majorness or minorness of uh, the chords as they go through the groove. But we will transpose it to the key of D and switch it over to a magic L exercise based on the root note or our one chord being a fifth string based major chord. So again, D is our one chord, but this groove sounds like the six chord. Thank you. 
to 70.
That's too fast. If you slow it down, you'll get up faster. Than whatever the fuck you have.
Acid slips at the top. than today, so that's reassuring. All right, um, let's work on this laptop.
the hook, the hook to R2. Thank you. 
more productive on the weekends. I, I can't just fuck off. This is why I feel like this almost every Monday. I have to just like fucking waste. Waste, waste, waste. Need, 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 need to do something. I need to.
Ich weiß auch noch nicht. Wie kann das sein?
just feel like it gets a lot louder when you go up to the third fret.
Was ist?
subtonic, not the leading tone. It's parallel, okay, we'll do shorter trim without changing the mood. We have the 50s progression, we'll do rock progression. Uh, then in 6451, you can have mixed, mixed phrases with like a, we're talking about cadence, yeah, with a half cadence and an authentic cadence. Uh, maybe with an accelerated phrase to fit in more in 4-6-1. Subtonic. This, oh, this is crazy. Let's see. Should mess up my other keyboard. This is a harmonic. Oh, the harmonic lighter. Mm hmm. Okay. Third, but it's supposed to say second, so I don't know if that might be second. There we go. Minor second, major second, augmented second. There we go.
Wait, what? Thank you. 
make it quick now. So let's see if I can remember.
higher skills discussed above while ascending. For major and natural and harmonic minor. Melodies in the harmonic of the lowering system of the minor mode. The direction of the melody matters a lot. To understand the reason for this, remember why the melodic and harmonic minor change seven from the natural minor in the first place. It was to create the tension of the leading tone as opposed to the subtonic. A tension that inclines T to rise up to Do. This tension is important if the melody is moving upwards. If the melody is moving downwards, however, then this tension, this desire of seven to move to eight, is just not helpful. It is counterproductive. So when melodies in the harmonic or minor system of minor move down from seven, they use the subtonic, right? Descending when descending, melodies in the system of minor use the subtonic, but what about six? In D major or ascending melodic minor, the note on this degree would be B natural.
is Helvin. So Beethoven uses the F melodic minor scale at the beginning of the string quartet. This is the first violin part. The other instruments play the same melody in unison or one or two octaves below. you know that the descending melodic minor scale is the same as the natural minor scale, writing these descending melodic minor scales should be much easier than This one is going to be four years old. Isn't it? 
sharp as C. Each of the following questions you will hear you will see and hear a scale in a given key. Identify the type of scale as major, natural, minor, harmonic, minor, ascending melodic minor, or natural or descending melodic minor. Excuse me. Is that the, what if it's just major? No. Oh, because it's starting on C. That's what I will do. Oh, with a raised six, but it's descending. I thought it was would have been the 
sea. Oh, because you still have the dominant? Is that it? the seventh one
Oh, oh my gosh. No, but what about that note? Okay, yes, obviously raised. Up here. How about this guy? Shouldn't this be raised too? This is yes, 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 it is. C sharp minor. Oh my god. <sighs> Wait, because I nothing. Just look here. Because look where you're starting. There is your raised seventh. Right? The eighth book isn't going to be sharp. And then we have the F, C, G, D. Or C sharp minor. Looks like it's going to be E minor, natural minor. Yes. Okay. And what do we have here? and then we have the raised to seventh C so this would be harmonic minor okay now we have a C sharp sorry no a D D major. is how do you say that D minor melodic or ascending D minor melodic I don't know how you would say it. so the D minor you would have a B flat that's been raised and then you have a C natural that's been sharp
so that's not bad. I think we have to give it that way. It is, isn't it? So bizarre. The light is turning there. Oh no, fuck, it is major. Man, this is taking me forever. I guess it would still work. Descending. Okay. Anyways, I mean, just gotta remember that that that's how it works. You know.
two minutes.
four, five, and six. That's one, two, and three, four, five, and six.
let's just start the next Let's bring it to that part of the field.
If they don't, you know exactly how to do that though. Come on. Slow down. Slow down the turning motion. Stay slow.
so it's uh Oh did I already play it? Oh, okay, well then never mind. Alright. has a fairly up-tempo rock beat and uh, I've labelled it as a progressive rock groove because of the, uh, the kind of strange ascending chords in there. So let's have a look at the notes in there. So we begin with a G-sharp 4th fret of the E string and we've got two notes on there. So first of all we have a staccato note and then a held note. So that's going to sound like this. Okay, and that's going to be uh, a repeating pattern throughout the line. So just first of all try that. Get into home position index finger over that uh, fourth fret and then stab at that first note and then hold for the second one so one and then we just use that same pattern and we just work up through this scale of pattern so we've got the G sharp then the A sharp and then the B so that's going to be fourth sixth and seventh frets on the uh, on the E string so two notes on each
listen to the technique for the fret. A string. So, all of that together. And we're back at the start. So, in terms of the technique for the fretting hands, we're using the first finger, third finger, fourth finger for the E string, then first finger, second finger, fourth finger for the... Oh, yeah? I thought he would do one finger. And we're back at the start. So, in terms of the technique for the fretting hands, we're using the first finger, third finger, fourth finger for the E string, then first finger, second finger, fourth finger for the A string, and then first finger, and then fourth finger, third finger for the drop down. Okay? You can use the fourth finger in joint bar, but if you don't have... Oh, he's bringing it to the D? I guess, huh? I guess we are. Oh yeah, I guess so. there and an E natural there. Is it D7? G D. G D. Oh, is it D? Oh, so it would. Okay. Because then... and just use the micro shift thing. You use the same fingering, so still first finger, third finger, fourth finger, but just move the hand accordingly. Even if I keep the fingers fairly close together, you can see that it's fine. For the picking hand, very simple, you can just use one finger for the whole thing. as you come back down, thumb on the pickup to begin with, and then when you move across to the A string, draw what you can see that it's fine. For the picking hand, very simple, you can just use one finger for the whole thing. And then just rake across as you come back. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. 
to the bass from the second bass drum there, and then hitting, you know, we're hitting with the bass drum, then we've got the bass drum in between, and then we hit on the snare, okay? So it's this nice interplay that you have to be aware of. If you're not, it might get messy. So, one last time with the track.
sharp. D sharp.
Um, <sighs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's just good practice to do that. Let's do that. Oh, Glenn already said that. Okay. Cool. Um. We are looking for R. So the one that we were doing was setting up here. It's over mark. Okay, so there's six. Okay, oh, for starting here, that's not six. Yeah. Oops. 
60 or 70. 